Go. Okay. Uh, so question nine. Express two plus x squared over one plus two x minus. Uh, sorry, times one minus x squared in partial fractions. Right. So first thing, it, it's a bit unusual for them not to give you the form, but we know this. This in partial fractions has got to be. You need that that repeated root twice, don't we? So we need to have a over one plus two x plus b over one minus x plus c over 1 minus x squared. And it's possible that b could be 0. a and c can't be 0, but b could be 0, because that, that might be a redundant term. Now we do that thing of multiplying through by the denominator to write 2 plus x squared is, well, that would be a times 1 minus x squared. That would be b. Time. Now, if we multiply by the whole of that denominator, that we still have a 1 plus 2x, and we still have the other 1 minus x going on there, and c would be times the 1 plus 2x. And then we pick our values that we're going to sum in, and two of them are pretty obvious. One is an obvious value to sum in. That gives us 2 plus 1 squared is a times 0, plus b times something times 0, plus c times 3. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. So C is 1. Good start. The other obvious value is minus a half. And we're going to be really careful about summing this in as well, haven't we? 2 plus minus a half squared, that's 2 plus a <coughs> quarter, is minus <coughs> quarters. We've got 1 minus minus a half all squared. That's 3 over 2 squared. That's 9 over 4, A. The other two, it knocks them out to give a 0. So A is 1 as well. And I think at least two of us had a daft numerical thing there where we didn't square that properly. We didn't take away. Was that not you? That's, sorry, is it? I won't mention any names. Um, let's pick any other value that we, that we like. 0, for example. So 2 is A plus b plus c. Well, hang on, if a and b are both 1, then we've got 2 equals, um, if a and c are both 1, sorry, that's 2 plus b. So b did turn out to be 0 after all. So there we go, we got b equals 0 after that. So our thing that we're dealing with now, it did say express it in partial fraction, so we ought to finish this off. 2 plus x squared over 1, oh, I've got no more ones. 1 plus 2x, 1 minus x squared is 1 over 1 plus 2x <coughs> plus 1 over 1 minus x squared. Now we're ready to do our integral between 0 and a quarter of exactly what we started with. So the integral from 0 to a quarter, we're now doing the integral of 1 over 1 plus 2x plus 1 over 1 minus x squared dx. And I'm, I'm not going to go straight into the answer for this because I'm, gonna, I'm just going to think through what I'm doing. This, that's going to be a natural log thing, isn't it? And this one is 1 minus x to the minus 2. Right, let's be careful with this. Integrate 1 over 1 plus 2x. That 2 matters. It's a natural log thing, but we've got to divide by the coefficient of x as well, we? because the top isn't quite the derivative of the bottom. So we've got a half coming out there. And here, again, let's be really careful with the signs. This isn't a natural log. This is add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So 1 minus x to the minus 2, add 1 to the power is 1 minus x to the minus 1. We're going to divide by minus 1, but we're also going to divide by the minus 1 that's in front of the x. So actually, that cancels itself out, and I didn't need to write any of it. Now we're going to sub in those limits. So we're going to do a half the natural log of 1 plus a quarter times 2. That's, that's 3 over 2, isn't it? 
and this is 1 over 1 minus x. So I think that's 1 over 3 quarters. And it's plus because that's all cancelled out. Take away a half ln 1. Well, that's alright because that's 0. Plus 1 over 1 minus 0. And so we end up with 1 half natural log of 3 over 2 plus 4 thirds because that's 1 over 3 quarters. Take away 1. And we had to show that we were you know, not just fudging it to get that final answer, but we have got that because we've got a half ln 3 over 2 plus a third as we were expecting to get. And that's maths.